Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Collins and this is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I wanted to do some commentary on the events that just unfolded a few days ago in Charlottesville, Virginia. The outright um, organized a rally to preserve their Confederate monuments and statues. What happened was counter-protesters came and counter-protested the rally and violence ensued. Now this was um, not obviously not the intended thing to happen, however it did, and it caused um, a lot of people to be injured and at least one death. Someone drove a car through a crowd killing one woman and have her hair. Um, the thing, I'll, however, that I want to mention is how these groups, white nationalists, they want to preserve their history of hatred in this country. They want to preserve a history of violence against African Americans and other non-white people. They want to preserve a history of just savagery and deviltry directed at once again non-white people. And in essence, maintain white privilege. Now, Donald Trump surprisingly has denounced these acts against the groups, the white nationalist groups, um, and so has Jeff Sessions. The groups in particular, the alt-right is the organization headed up by Larry Richard Spencer, and everyone knows who he is. They wanted to preserve these monuments because they felt that their history is being taken away. They feel that their heritage is being stripped from them. When yet, as you can see, in the history of this nation, everything has been built and been designed with the benefit of white Americans. So really, this is a case of troll tears, of racist tears of people crying, who already have everything, but that's not enough for them, they want more. What I want to also mention, which is very interesting, is the lack of police presence at this rally when all this was going on, considering the history of police presence that has been with African Americans and other people, non-people of color, have congregated and exercised their right to assembly. Why was this allowed to go on? Not to mention, there were people, white supremacists, Klansmen, outright Nazi skinheads, or whatever, that were out with torches, carrying torches around, reminiscent of the 1800s when Klansmen really did go around with torches to terrorize freed slaves, as well as African, freed African Americans, as well as slaves in general. However, what I wanted to mention is that the double standard that is going on, that we've been saying this all along as black people, what's been going on in this country, but it's been swept under the rug. There were even been slogans they were mentioning like, blood and soil, which is a saying that the Nazis used during 1930s Germany. Uh, the White Lives Matter, which is um, a co-op, you no know, co-opted saying from the Black Lives Matter movement. They, they took it and once again hijacked the meaning and completely took away from what the meaning originally was. When Black Lives Matter was formed, it was just to remind the nation that black lives are a part of this nation and that they should matter just as much as any other life. White Lives Matter, once again, is a bunch of racist tears being cried because they want to feel victimized. They want to have everything. And then throughout the history of them being in this country, they have had everything they've ever wanted. Um, what else? Um, they uttered a saying called, you will not replace us, or Jew will not replace us, referring to Jews, which they've also discriminated against. What is this all saying, people? This is basically telling us of what's going on. This is just taking the cover of what's been going on in this nation. This has been going on for a long time, and I look at it as a case, as Malcolm X once said, of chickens coming home to roost. 
I looked at a, visi a video recently from New Possibilities, and he drove an excellent point, saying that how during the during the 2003 Iraq invasion, when Saddam Hussein was toppled, and his regime was toppled, the statues of that you know, reminded people of him were immediately destroyed, were immediately torn down to make way for another government. However, that's not the case here, where you have white nationalists and white supremacists wanting to preserve their statues in this legacy of hatred that is constantly and still today being directed toward African Americans and other non-white people. Now, what they want is a case of their cake they need it too. They want to be able to exercise and manifest the racism, but want everyone to go along with it. I see this as white supremacy's last leg. But once again, when you deal with hatred on such a mass level, the way I see it, the hatred has been directed inward toward them. It's been is their Frankenstein monster come back to harm them. And everything that we've always been seeing is now starting to come to pass. Now they're starting to listen. Now they're starting to see what it feels like to be victimized. Now they're starting to see. However, this is not something for me to gripe or moan about and as African Americans in this country you should look at should look at this incident in Scotts I mean in Charlottesville and see it for what it is. Racism coming out to rear its head at its creators. So everyone like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Also hit the bell icon, that way you'll be notified when I drop other videos. But let's get the dialogue started. Let me know what you think about the incidents that unfolded in Charlottesville. So with that said, I love you, God loves you, let's do life.